Welcome back everyone. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the six secrets to getting great black and white portraits. The first one is contrast is king. Really, contrast is everything. You wanna display an entire range of tones from black to white and everything in between. Not only am I talking about it in terms of actual contrast that you would apply in post-production um, and that sort of thing, what I'm talking about is contrast between different elements in your scene. So for instance, if your subject's wearing all white, then photograph them on a dark background or vice versa. You wanna make sure that the tones in your shot don't blend together. The second secret that I wanna share is using hard light. Now, when you think about a black and white portrait, what you probably think about is a hard light portrait. Sure, originally black and white portraits were shot with available light on those glass plates back in the 1800s, but as photography evolved and became more ubiquitous, we started seeing a lot of portraits in that sort of film noir, old Hollywood era from let's say the 20s to the 50s. So what we think about most of the time when we think about black and white portraits is a hard light portrait because back then they didn't have soft boxes and they were using tungsten um, uh, continuous lights, the same lights that they would use to shoot the movies. So think about maybe using a beauty dish or a silver reflector or an optical snoot. All of these modifiers will be great choices that will give you really crisp contrast and that'll help you make really cool black and white portraits. The third tip that I wanna give you today is to monitor in black and white. Most digital cameras are going to allow you to monitor in black and white in real time in the EVF, or perhaps in real time or after the fact on the LCD. Or of course you can monitor in black and white with your computer if you're tethering in the studio just by applying a black and white filter uh, to your images upon capture. This is gonna help you sort of head off conflicts at the pass. Now, because we see in color, we see color contrast. And when we're looking at a scene, you might see that a medium red tone and a medium green tone looked look vastly different. But if you looked at that same image in black and white, you would see immediately that those two colors are really just the same shade of gray and they're not that different from each other. So in order to achieve contrast, if you will, between two different tones in our image, you wanna monitor in black and white so you can head conflicts off like that at the pass. The fourth secret when shooting black and white portraits is to shoot in raw. And the reason why you wanna do this is because you wanna have complete control over your highlights and your shadows. You don't maybe want your white tones to be clipping or your blacks to be clipping, but you wanna be able to push that contrast in post so that you get exactly what you're looking for. The other thing is that if you shoot in raw, you're gonna capture all of the color information which you can use in post, which will come in handy uh, during the next step or the next tip that I have for you today. And that is to style in black and white. If you're using bold black and white patterns on your models, then you're going to have nice bold contrast. But what if you can't, uh, what if you don't have black and white clothing, you just have color clothing? Well, in that case, you can use the raw file to shift those colors to different shades in post. So if you think about it this way, for this image, uh, Jason, the model was wearing a light blue shirt and I wanted to look white. So all I did was use the color editor in Capture One and select the blue color in his shirt and then make it lighter in post right there in the program. And of course that worked out great and I got the contrast that I was looking for. And the sixth and final tip that I wanna give you today in order to make great black and white portraits is to use hair lights and edge lights. So think about it this way, the light's coming over here, the main light, and it's striking my face. And that's creating sort of a mid-tone, if you will. And then that's transitioning into a shadow. And then you see this nice highlight along my neck. And then also you see these nice highlights on the top of my head and that's coming from my hair light. When you use hair lights and edge lights, you create a full range of tonality across your frame and you go from light to medium to dark and then back to light again. And it's really cool and it really sort of 
um, creates a three-dimensional look for your portraits. And it's something that I think works great in a black and white image. When black and white, I feel like you want to turn up the drama in order to make even better images. Anyway, guys, I hope that all made sense. If you have any questions or comments, just leave those below. If you enjoy learning from me in this video today, you might also enjoy learning from me in person. And I do teach workshops. So if you want more information, just go to johngress.com workshops. If you want to watch a video that's all about making film noir portraits, click on this one up here. And if you want to watch a video that YouTube thinks you'll love, click on this one. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. Have a great day. And I'll talk to you soon.